The Vigalo Hope Foundation has charged stakeholders in the education sector to create a cultural environment where every child would feel valued, loved, respected, and included in decision-making processes. Chinenye Onora, project manager of the foundation, made the call at the sixth edition of the RHF 2024 Edita Stake Conference held in commemoration of the International Day for Education in Lagos. She said the call became necessary as inclusion education would go a long way to reduce inequality, social exclusion, discrimination, but empower the people to recognize and value their unique abilities. Joining us live in our studios is Aurel Lua Abiodun, who is a dedicated partnership and communication strategist at Regalo Hope Foundation. Thank you for joining us, Aurel. Thank you for having me. Okay, during the International Day, you know, of education, your foundation's theme on that day was learning for lasting peace. Can you expand on that? Okay, thank you so much once again for having me here. So um, during the International Day of Education, um, which we called the EduState Conference, coined from two words, educational stakeholders. So the theme was actually uniting for inclusive education, but the global theme for the International Day of Education was learning for lasting peace. So um, uniting for inclusive education to us, what it means is that we're pushing for inclusion because inclusion um, is a bedrock for diversity, inclusion, you know, sponsors diversity. So we're looking for an environment or we're pushing for an environment where every child can feel included um, despite their abilities or disabilities or special needs. We're looking for um, a classroom where every child can feel loved, they can feel accepted, and there is that communication, there is no breach in that communication between the special needs children and the, in quote, normal children. So. Um, at the EduStake conference, we brought together um, educational stakeholders. This conference was um, partnered. Um, we had partners such as Rights Foods Limited, um, Tetens Agrico Limited, Bideview Technologies. So we brought together educational stakeholders to drive this, um, inclus in this inclusive text, right? To drive this inclusive word to them. Um, we, more, we created this conference to be able to empower them with the right insight. So when I talk about educational stakeholders, I'm talking about from students that are secondary tertiary um, institution students to um, educators, school proprietors, to community leaders, and even the government, because we believe that these four key stakeholders play a vital role in education. So we hope to um, drive this message so that they are able to pick it and then they are able to run with it. Did you have teachers in that conference as well? Yes, we did have. Okay, yes, so your focus this year is on education. Yes. You know, so your foundation said inclusive education will go a long way to reduce inequality. Yes. Can you expand on that? Okay, so um, we believe that um, education is not just um, a privilege. Education should be a fundamental right to everyone and anyone. And then, like I mentioned, inclusive education is bringing together everyone together so that everyone can have a part in um, education. What we have these days is um, like a segregation. So we have maybe people with special abilities learning in one place and then the normal children, in quotes, learning in another center. But we want to bring all of these people in one classroom so that the people with the special needs or illnesses in quotes can also feel loved they can feel accepted they can have that high self-esteem they can be able to interact with people yes and then we got our foundation in terms of education um, we also run programs such as digital training youth development workshop and this year um, one of the major um, goals that we have is to take the youth development workshop that we run to um, tertiary institutions because we've always had this program run in our resource and learning center but because of the sitting capacity and the number of impact we want to reach this year we're taking it to campuses so the youth development workshop is actually designed to equip young people um, with the right um, skill sets um, interpersonal communication skills um, leadership skills soft skills um, so that they can stay relevant so that they can be able to compete so that they can be able to thrive in the marketplace okay so you're saying that basically the special needs children do not need special schools. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So if they don't need special schools, do you think that they're going to have the same impactful education as the kids without special needs when they're in the same environment? Yes. So one of the solutions we prefer to this during the conference was that um, policies should be signed, first off, by the okay. government to, be, to encourage this for institutions, for schools, secondary schools, and tertiary institutions. And then also... Um, coming down to the schools and communities, they should be open-minded to accept these children. They should 
be able to take extra hands, extra professional hands. They should be able to employ therapists to be able to help this course so that the children are able to learn at the same pace with every with other others. child. Okay, so what can you say about Uniting for Inclusive Education and how it can be implemented? Okay, so um, like I mentioned, one of the implementation is Policy. government policies. policies yes. um, secondly, um, schools being open-minded to this because mm -hmm. we started off with um, an educator seminar that we had where we just had only um, educators and teachers, but then we had to bring up this conference to be able to reach you know, the media to reach the press so that they can help us carry this information. We also had um, government representatives in this conference. So um, we believe that every um, institution should come together to unite. Because most times when we talk about inclusion, it's just a thing of the mouth. Like there's no real action coming into play. So we want actions. We want actions this year, starting from this year, right? We want actions so that everyone can come together to foster inclusion okay in education so have you thought about you know having teachers who have special education for the special kids because you know special kids need more attention more care and a certain syllabus that will suit them at their pace yes yeah, so one of the many things that we also mentioned mm -hmm. at the conference was a review of the curriculum okay a review of the curriculum by That's the good. government and um, one of the f um, the panelists is a diversity, inclusion, and belonging mm -hmm. strategist. So she pushed for that, right? Okay. She has three inclusive centers that she runs. So she also pushed for that, that we should have, we should look at the curriculum yes. so that it can accommodate the special those needs. special needs children so that they can also learn at the same pace. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good work you're doing. <laughs> Best you. of luck. We see you and then the Ministry of Education because I know that they'll be in charge of this. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.